Maddie from Hello Interloper here. Today we're going to go over the basics of the game Terraria. Now, Terraria is kind of like Minecraft in the sense that you will be mining, you'll be gathering materials, killing some animals and whatnot, but it's also different in the sense that it has more of an RPG element, and it's also a 2D side-scroller. Also, unlike most games, when you start out Terraria, you're kind of plopped in the middle of nowhere with no directions and no instructions on what to do next. That's kind of for you to figure out. Uh, for a lot of people, this could be a little frustrating or confusing, or, you know, you might just say, oh, this game's boring, all I can do is hack and slash at some things. So, today, I'm going to make a new world, a new character, and kind of explain to you how to start out the game properly, how to survive in this crazy world, and what to look for. So, I'm going to start out making a single-player world and uh, create a character. Uh, you can choose, choose from male or female, and uh, I'm just going to make a female here. Yeah, there we go. She's got hair, and uh, she's going to be a severe redhead. And uh, how about some blue eyes? And uh, her skin is going to be so entirely pale, because she's going to be a weird basement dweller or a vampire. One or the other. We, we don't really know with Jenna. That's going to be her name. Her name's going to be Jenna Wrinklebottom. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and create her. But first, let me just quickly go over these settings. You can play softcore, medium core, or hardcore. Um, hardcore is for s crazy people who uh, want to actually lose everything when they die. Personally, I will not touch hardcore. It's a nice challenge, but it's absolutely not for me. Medium core can be a little frustrating because you drop all of your items upon death. Meaning that when you die, sure enough, all your items are on the ground, and if you die in a pretty hard to reach spot, you might not ever get those items back again. Softcore is what I like to play on. When you die, you lose half of your money. That I can deal with. So let me create Jenna Wrinklebottom, and it's time to enter a new world. I will create a new world, and uh, different world sizes. Um, well, of course, it might seem nice to have a large world, but in Terraria, you can find some pretty cool things, such as floating islands, a dungeon, and those are easiest to find in a small world. So, today, I am going to make a small world. So, here we go. We're generating the world, and we will now begin. And there we are, in the world of Terraria. Well, we could jump, uh... There's some trees, there's this guy whose name is Trent, and that's about it. whoop de doo right? Well, let's check our inventory. Here I have a demonic copper short sword. Uh, mind you, the name of your copper short sword, or whatever it is, uh, is randomized upon creation. So, mine happens to have a plus 20 damage increase, plus a plus 5 critical strike chance, thus the name demonic. And, of course, your might, yours might not have this. Uh, as you see, I just have a normal copper pickaxe and a ruthless copper axe. It has minus 10 knockback, but 33% damage increase. So, anyway, uh, I have a sword. So let me use the sword and stab. Oh, I got a mushroom by stabbing a mushroom. And, um, I can't stab this dude. And I can use a pickaxe. I got a dirt block. Oh my goodness, let me dig some stone for the heck of it. So I can get some materials and I can put them back down. That's wonderful. Uh, but not really useful. And uh, now I can cut down some trees with my axe. Okay. So what on earth am I supposed to do in this world? It's confusing! There's nothing to do! That is where you're incredibly wrong. You can slash a bunny and decapitate it. That's one thing. But let's start over here with our good buddy Trent. We're gonna go talk to him and see what he has to offer. Greetings, Jenna Wrinklebottom. Is there something I can help you? Yes, I would like some help. You can use your pickaxe to dig through dirt and your axe to chop down trees. Just place your cursor over the tile and click. Well, we've got that far. How about some more? If you want to survive, you'll need to create weapons and shelter. Start by chopping down trees and gathering wood. Well, there we go. That's an actual helpful tidbit. So, I'm gonna find some pretty tall trees and cut them down for wood. And this is where the game really begins. You'll be gathering materials and increasing 
your power and your estate, so to speak, by adding new things, adding new people, all these different kind of things. But for now, we will make our first house. And that house will not just be any house, that house will belong to our good buddy Trant over here, who is wandering around stupidly trying to find who knows what. So, once I get a little more wood, I will build my first house. Right now, I have 43, no, 54 pieces of wood. Uh, that's not really sufficient at the moment. So I'm just gonna get a little more. But as you can see, I'm also getting acorns. It's pretty obvious what the acorns will do. You plant them back in the ground and more trees grow. So you'll never be at a loss for trees. Now I'm just gonna cut this down and this slime is bothering me. And uh, he does drop coins and gel as to what those do. That will wait a little bit because first we are gonna build our house. So I'm gonna clear up this plot of land right here. This level that I'm on right now. And that is where I'm gonna build my first house. Alright. So now I select the wood, which is in my inventory after I cut it down. And I'm gonna start building a foundation. And I'm gonna close this up. And oh boy, I have a visitor. This house isn't finished yet. Get the fuck out. There we go. Okay. So, I'm gonna make this just big enough so I can exit. Yeah, it's a kind of a house. Alright, well, now that I have that, I'm gonna talk to Mr. Trent over here. I'm here to give you advice on what to do next. It's recommended that you talk with me anytime you get stuck. Well, uh, what else can I do with this wood that I have found? I'm gonna drag this, and I'll, he'll show me recipes. Oh, look, I can make walls, and wooden platforms, and this, and that, and ooh, look at all that stuff. But it seems that I cannot build anything, because I do not have something called a... workbench. And now, if I get this wood back, yes, I can go craft a workbench by pressing exit, or escape, sorry, and clicking workbench. There we go, I have a workbench in my inventory, and I can't currently jump over this, so I'm gonna also make a wood platform, and make two of these, and kind of make them jut out of my house, like that. Alright, so now I can jump up, and uh, now, with this wood platform, I shall make art. I'm gonna place it down. Now that I'm next to this workbench, suddenly I can make a lot more stuff. I can make stone walls, wooden walls, doors, everything I could ever want. Well, okay, let's think about what a house will need. Well, it's obvious that they'll need a door. So I'm going to take the door, put it down, and how about some walls? Definitely need walls. Oh, that slime just had a nice uh, rabbit dinner. So I'm going to make some walls. Okay, 96. I probably won't need that much, but uh, I'm just going to quickly put these walls up. And then, I believe, I will have a house, correct? Well, not so. This is where we use our handy little tool to find out if this is suitable housing. So, if you see over here, I'm gonna click Housing Query. And click in here. This housing is missing a light source and a chair. Okay, well, thank you for telling me that. Um, gonna right-click, get out of that Housing Query thing. And what on earth can we do about lighting? Well, we can make a torch. Because we have a gel from one of those slimes, I can make three torches. So I will add some torches. And how about one in the middle for good measure? That looks pretty nice, right? This is a house, correct? This house is missing a chair. Okay. I'll go back to my workbench. Make myself a chair. Put it over here, and... Now I can click housing query. This housing is suitable. So now I can move Trent in by clicking on his head and clicking over here. There we go! This is officially Trent Trent's house and now I can exit and uh, go do whatever the heck I want to do. So Trent, you have a house now! Isn't that just grand? Oh, and look, he's getting attacked. Um, I guess he wants to explore for now. But, uh, yeah, okay, so now that we have a house, uh, what do we do next? We saw that there are many recipes that you can make. So, uh, let's see, I have some stone blocks. What can I make out of stone blocks? 
What are the things? Well, it seems I can make a furnace out of stone blocks, wood, and three torches. So, um, I would quite like that, so I'm going to mine some nice stone blocks. And I'm sorry, uh, Bonnie, you were just in the way. You didn't really need your head attached to your body, did you? Alright, so now I'm going to get some of these stone blocks. There's a few hits uh, needed to get these stone blocks going. Here we go. Now that I have some stone blocks, I need to make some torches. And since I already have wood, I can go make that furnace. So I'm going to run over here. Go back to my workbench. And make myself a furnace. Ooh yeah, look at that. My very own furnace. And it turns out I can make a hammer as well. So uh, I'll take a hammer. And I can make a bow, but uh, I'm not really a huge fan of bows. I think I can deal without that. So, uh, all of a sudden, the environment is looking a little bit different. As you can see, the sun is going down. This is why we made a house. During the night, some uh, not-so-pleasant things will show up, and some of those unpleasant things happen to be zombies. And uh, poor little Trent over there, he doesn't know how to use weapons, so uh, he will get absolutely mauled to death. Uh, so, before the sun goes down, I'm going to explore a little. And uh, there are many caves that you can find in this game. I'm going to slash this, and I just destroyed a little vase, and I got some torches from it. By destroying vases, you can find some pretty nice stuff. And look, there's some more. I got a healing potion. Let me slash some of these vines. I got some silver and copper coins, which really have no use to me yet. I will tell you now that you definitely want to collect them. And uh, let me clear away how to get out of here. Alright, now I can jump out. And oh, what is this? This is a new block. And oh, copper ore. Well, what could I possibly make with copper ore? I guess I'll find out later, huh? So, as you're going around, uh, you'll find some more dangerous adversaries, such as a green slime and a blue slime, which obviously has a little more uh, HP. And when you need uh, to jump off of something, like right now I cannot reach this, it's always good to make a few wooden platforms. And I will put the wooden platforms over here. Where are my wooden platforms? Number six, so I will attach a wooden platform, and... Oh, I can't jump off yet, but uh, I'll make myself another wooden platform. I keep dropping it, because I'm stupid. And put it over here. So now I'll jump up, and oh look, and if I want to jump down, I just press the down button. So now, look at me, I made it over that obstacle. Not too shabby. Now... That, I will probably fall down and not be able to get back up, so I'm gonna just see if I can make it there. Oh, yes. And, oh! Well, we've encountered a desert. So now I know that to the right of my little environment is the desert, and I see something down there. If you look down here, there seems to be some light, and I will dig to it. Now, uh, different ground types have different properties, and I'll show you in a moment how sand reacts. If I dig this, everything above it will fall down. Do not get trapped under sand, or you will die. And, and uh-oh. The music has officially changed. It means it's nighttime. Now, whether or not something will happen to me is, uh, to be seen, but all we know is that Trent, right now, is completely and utterly safe where he is, because he will go inside, and uh, not be bothered by zombies. Because zombies are too stupid to break down doors. Don't ask how, they just are. Oh, what I have a zombie that fell on me and it's absolutely mauling my face. Well, so much for that. Jenna Wrinkle Bottom has been torn in half by zombie! So this is uh, essentially why we made a house. So that way, we can go hide in it. For our first night. So that is what we will do. We will hide in our humble abode. Yeah, Bunny, you're not invited. It's just me and Trent here. Oh god! Oh god, no! There's a zombie in an eyeball! 
Okay, I can see why uh, it's a good idea to have a house. It's actually a very good idea. Oh, fallen star! I would love to pick that up, but uh, I'm not exactly gonna risk uh, getting eaten by two zombies and a giant floating eye. Oh, third zombie. But, uh, as you see those in the world, uh, once you're able to fight zombies, you definitely want to pick those up. And there we go! Suddenly the zombies are leaving. The music changes! And Trent will actually go outside in a little bit. I hope the zombies are back, and I'll just quickly stab them a few times. See if I can't survive this. So apparently they decide that jumping to the left is uh, way too hard for them. So I'll give them a few stabs. And oh, we are free of zombies. Alright, so it's daytime. And uh, since we just explored to the right, I will go ahead and make a sign. This is really useful for larger worlds. Uh, since we're using a small world, it's not exactly needed. I like doing it anyway. I'll put the sign down, edit, and... Since this is the forest, I'll go like that, and then say that it goes to desert. What that goes to, I have no idea. I'd have to explore a little further, but uh, for now, that's good enough. And then I can make a sign for the other side. Just in case I'm wondering what is on the other side, and I don't forget. There we go. Well, I'll know that it's forest too. I don't know what. I was thinking maybe doing it the opposite way, but I guess it's not going to happen. Alright, so we have another one of these situations. We're going to make a uh, wooden platform. Put that up here. There we go. Wooden platforms are extremely useful, so always have some wood in your pocket, or just some wooden platforms. Alright, so uh, now that we did that, we can- Oh! Well, will you look at that! This is uh, an interesting surprise. I've actually never seen this in my three worlds that I made previously. But as you can see, sometimes you do have a chance of having a snowy world, and there's really not that much difference in the snowy world, it appears. But, um, what would happen if I dug here? Snow block. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder what would happen if I took a snow block to a non snowy place. I guess there's only one way to find out. But, uh, let me fight this guy over here. And oh, all of a sudden things have getting been getting a little creepy. Let me walk over here. I'll put it on this snow block. Oh! Well, nothing happens to it. That's kind of interesting. And, oh my goodness, what is that flying thing? Something tells me that this place is extremely dangerous! And that it is. I honestly should not be here right now. Or at least I know what's to the left of this area. It is called the Corruption. And that thing will come after me in just a moment. Oh, and there's another one. Oh god! And I'm gonna die. Uh, I'm drowning! Well, now that we know what is on uh, each side here, and I've died and unfortunately dropped half of my money, I will go over here and go back. I'm gonna put it down the snow block. And look, is anything happening? No. I guess it's not gonna melt. I was kind of expecting it to melt. Alright, so uh, that didn't turn out very well. Now I can write that this goes to snow where it goes to corruption all right so now i kind of know which places i'm in i will look around for other things other things such as more copper and other ores because uh right now there's not much i can unfortunately do i need armor and not only do i need armor i also need better ways to defend myself. So this is where the real insanity begins. The digging. So first I will dig down here and I have found something that does not look normal. I have found iron ore. So the main ores that you will find around here are copper, iron, silver, gold, and um, hopefully we'll be able to build something nice out of it. 
Now, although it may be tempting to dig straight down, you don't want to do that, because if you were to jump in here and just jump directly down, you will die from falling damage. So I'm going to kind of dig a little bit of a zigzag here. So I will be able to jump down, go a little bit, jump down a little bit more, so on and so forth. And since I have gel, I'm going to make as many torches as humanly possible. Because torches are extremely useful in creating caverns and caves. Um, the nice thing about torches is that they make light. But not only that, they last forever. Uh, there's also an alternative to that, which is called the glow stick. And the glow stick, unfortunately, does not stay forever, but it does work in water. Alright, so I have just found a deeper cavern here. And unfortunately, I can't see, so I will put down another torch. And look at that, I got some iron ore. Well, now that we got some iron, hopefully we'll be finding some other things down here. So I'm just going to continue going down. Now, of course, dirt blocks take less hits than uh, stone to dig through. But of course, as you get better um, tools, it'll be a lot quicker. And now that we have a little bit of light, I'm able to see here that there is amethyst. Oh, will you look at that. A nice amount of amethyst. Now, this will all have a purpose, trust me. For now, you just kind of want it in your inventory. Now the music has changed. I have officially gone further underground. And, oh, will you look at that? It is a nice vein of iron ore. Now, most of the time, you won't find iron ore in such abundance. You'll usually find a lot of copper. So, uh, finding iron ore right off the bat is pretty lucky. Alright, now that I hit the mother load, uh, I'm going to continue digging downwards a little bit to see what else I can find. Oh! Silver ore! Beautiful, beautiful silver ore. That is what I want to see. Well, i got to be a little bit careful here, because otherwise I'm going to drop down there. So I'm going to be as careful as possible. Chip away at blocks that I can reach. Oh boy, it's time. Ah! Well, unfortunately there's not much I can do here. But since I got so much ore anyway, I think I'm going to just go ahead and kill myself. As morbid as that is, I will go back to where I spawned from and be able to put this stuff to good use. Kill me! Kill me, kill me, kill me, kill me! Kill me! So now I got my little cavern there. You see all my torches are still up, and I can go back inside. Let me close this behind Trent, because he doesn't know how to use doors properly. And now I can finally make all this wonderful material. So now I have iron bars, uh, copper bars, all that wonderful stuff. And with that, I can make a lot of new things. So now that I got the copper and everything put aside, I'm gonna see what I can make. I can make some gray brick, red brick, copper brick, mudstone brick. But uh, that's not really what I'm looking for at the moment. Oh, and because I have so much sand, I can make glass. And with that glass, I can make beautiful bottles. And I can bottle water with that. Or I can make a vase, which I'll put on my workbench over here. But anyway, I'm going to now make an iron anvil. And with the iron anvil, which I'm going to put next to my furnace, I can make things like an iron chain, which will be used for a um, grappling hook later. Make some iron weapons here. A bow, broadsword, a toilet, a trash can, an empty bucket, um, which is a tool as well as something to put on your head. You can find some uh, copper things here, uh, a bowl, a clay pot, a lamp post. Alright, so we got a nice uh, group of things that we can make, but I will probably start out with improving my hammer, because right now I have a wooden hammer. Now, unfortunately, this is going to cost some copper and some wood, 
but I will take the hammer, make it, and now I don't really know what to do with this hammer. Now, um, I could technically make a so chest. anything that I don't need, like right now, I don't really need to carry on all these stone blocks with me, or mushrooms, or I don't need the silver bars, or the copper bars, or the dirt block, like I just throw that out. But amethyst and iron bar. I don't need this hammer. Gel I can put in the ammo slot. Copper ore I'll carry around with me. I don't mind. I don't really need glass. I don't really need my acorns. Uh, I can throw out clay block and mud block. I don't really need that. I got some shurikens that I picked up. I don't really need sand blocks. I'll keep the wood with me. So uh, anything I don't need I can deposit into the chest and I won't have to worry about that. But actually one more thing that's pretty good to be putting in there are your coins. So that way when you die you don't lose half of your entire amount. It's more like uh, you lose whatever you're carrying. So anyway it's night time again. Time to wait it out.